Robert Hughes, firebrand art critic. Clive James, memoirist, broadcaster, poet. Barry Humphreys, savage satirist. Jermaine Greer, feminist, libertarian. Exiles from Australia, all of them. I wanted to go to a place where there was beauty. I did believe in the great Australian ugliness. You can tow Australia out to sea and sink it for all I care. I was uh, a band writer. Part of you might have enjoyed that. Most of me enjoyed <laughs> it. <laughs> My name is Howard Jacobson, and I have a personal interest in this. The Australia they called a sleepy backwater was my brave new world. I'm here to meet Clive James off the Cambridge train. I haven't seen him for three or four years, and I know he's been very ill. Hey, Clive. Clive. How fantastic to see you. How good to see you. You look great. You look strong. I was yeah. expecting a little, a little old man cooking out. Little That's the way, way I do look, but I'm <laughs> acting for you. <laughs> <laughs> so what explains their spectacular success? Ladies and gentlemen, Clive James. Was it because they were Australian that they were able to conquer London and New York? And why does it all matter so much to me? It's only the wildest fancy. But earlier on the trip here, I passed a ship going in the other direction, calling to me from the deck of this boat of my imagination, which remain Greer, Barry Humphreys, Robert Hughes, Clive James. You're going the wrong way, mate, they shouted. They were wrong, for me anyway. But why were they sailing away? Why would Australians ever choose to exile themselves from such beauty and exhilaration? And what a duller place, and what a, a we a thinner place this country, and in a sense, parts of the English-speaking world would have been if those four hadn't landed on these shores and made for London and got it by the throat, <laughs> which is what they did. They were four prodigiously gifted writers, critics, and entertainers from Australia a place they considered a sleepy backwater. They dared to take on the world, London and New York, and they succeeded spectacularly. My name's Howard Jacobson, and I feel that my life, strangely, has been intertwined with theirs for the last 50 years. To nose out self-righteousness and to imagine on an epic scale and was it not for these qualities that we have admired and loved them?